Three, two, one, go. Ale, dobré. Ještě jeden příjemný den. Anyway. Hey guys, I'm already tipsy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, if you can't already tell by the title, this is going to be a say it or shot it. So, I really don't know how I'm going to feel about a lot of these questions. I have got some off the internet and some from Instagram just because I wanted to spice it up a little bit. But I'm really, I'm really nervous. We've got a full bottle of tequila here with two shot glasses and then our chasers, which are fairy floss cocktails. So let's get to it. Okay, so the first one here, we've got what is your biggest pet peeve? No idea. I know what mine is. If I don't know, do I have to shop? I don't that think I have or one. I don't think I have one. If you don't have one, like. I guess you can't do anything about it, like that's fair. Yeah. But I hate, I was telling Matt last night when we were like thinking of all the questions and stuff. So it's probably when someone cuts me off mid-sentence after they've asked me a question and they move on to the next question before I finish, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I hate it when people cut me off and it's like, you haven't let me finish, finish. my sentence. Like, mm -hmm. do you want to know or not? You answer it for me. Fine, you answer it for me. So yeah, that's probably my biggest pet peeve. Like, I absolutely hate it. Mm -hmm. So much. I definitely don't have one, I don't think. No? Not at all? Nothing. Pretty chill dude. You can't look at someone and be like, I hate that you do that. I don't know. At the top of my head, I don't think so. Really? Yeah. Hmm. What's the shortest amount of time you've known someone before hooking up? I don't know. <laughs> One night? Probably. Yeah. I don't want to give my answer. Why? Could it be any quicker? Huh? Couldn't be any quicker than one night. No, but I just don't want to say. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> what was the point of that? Just to know. Yeah, probably one night. Do I have to take a shot for that? I think so. I really? Think that's a bit of a lie, to be honest. Okay, you pour it for me then. Don't do it too pee. Okay, ready? Three, two, oh, it smells one, bad. go! Making me sick just looking at it. Cut. <laughs> I, I'm literally. I want to know if this happens to everyone else. And they get really slivery. Good thing he's engaged to me. Okay. Mm. Ah! What are we up to now? What's the worst date you've ever had? I was also talking to Matt about this last night. <laughs> oh, it was so... It was just like a mad ick experience. Like the whole date was just an ick. I went out on like a date or a meet up with this guy. <laughs> and it probably doesn't even sound that bad, but like me reliving it is just like traumatic. So I sat in this um, cafe with him. We met up at a cafe, of course. And I ended up getting like a hot chocolate or something. The time span of me like going up to the counter to order my drink, I just like, I already knew it was going to go horribly wrong. So I just did not, like I wanted to leave immediately. But I thought, you know what, I should probably give this guy a chance. Like, I, um, he was like sitting there shaking, like jittering, like crazy. And I thought he was on some like sort of drugs. But I found out he's like, oh yeah, I have ADHD. So like, I really can't sit still, blah, blah, blah was talking so fast, I was really quite, I was traumatized. Anyway, I was like, yeah, well, let's, let's go for a walk. Let's like leave. Let's get out of the cafe because this just really isn't working for you. This isn't your scene. So we ended up leaving and then we went to the top of the shopping center where there's like a little garden thing. I'm sure a lot of you would know which shopping center this is, but um, we ended up sitting up there and he started doing cartwheels. 
Like I called up my grandmother and I was like, get me out of here right now. Like I need, I, I need to leave. You need to get me out of this situation. So um, I left and I never spoke to him ever again. Really? Never? <laughs> never. Name something illegal that you've done and regret. <laughs> if you don't want to answer, take a shot. <laughs> Let me pour it for you there. Let me pour it for you. Not. To the top. Oh, it has to be. Yours was it? Oh, it was. No, it definitely it wasn't. It definitely was. God, oh, no, I don't want to do this, hey. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, take it. I can say I've never done anything illegal. Anyways, let's move on. Have you ever cheated or helped someone else cheat? No. I have been accused of cheating, but I have never in my life cheated. And I can say that hands on the Bible. Have you? No. No? I never will. <laughs> Anyone who does it, you're a scum. Yeah, you no. You know who I've... I'm talking to. <laughs> There's a lot of you. Have you ever lied about being sick so you can stay home from work or school? School? Yes, work, no. Yeah, school all the time. Yeah, obviously. Play cod all day. <laughs> I was just, well, too. I don't even know what I'd do. I just, sometimes I just wanted to clean my room or something. Or just like hang out at home. So I just, mm. try to see here. Work, work, never. Uh, yeah. Never. I can't afford to stay home yeah, from work. Exactly. I actually get paid to go to work. Like the rest of us too. There's no sick days at my crew either. It's yeah. just another thing. <laughs> it doesn't exist. Way. If you have a sick day, you're fired. Yeah, pretty much. So. Did you ever break up with someone just before a public holiday so that you didn't feel bad about cheating? No. Schoolies? Anything? No. I did break up with someone before their birthday so I didn't have to give them a gift. But that is so about, slack. I was about 14, so... So slack. And to yeah. think that he would have had a sister to help him out and, he and her birthday just... was on the same day, so... How wack is that? But he could have easily gone to like his sister to be like, Oh, you know, like what should I get my girlfriend for a birthday? But no. Did it on the old... He old... broke up with her. What, what's it called? Kick. Kick. Did it over kick. That is so rude. <laughs> the friends after anyway. We became better friends after it. That's good. So yeah, but she never knew why I did Oh, really? That is so slack. If she ever sees this video, then she'll know. What's the strangest thing someone would find in your web search history? Should we both take a shot? Yes. <laughs> I don't know some things sometimes, and there's only one way to find out. I want it to still stay like PG for yeah. any kids. Yes. I would watch this. Like, I know my sisters will watch this. Yes. So. You ready? No. <laughs> ready? Bottoms up. <coughs> I'm so dramatic. Does it honestly not happen to you where you just, your mouth just fills up with saliva? Mm. Is it really not? Mm. I'll just start dribbling. <laughs> And I don't know if it's like a gag reflex, because you know how, like, before you start vomiting, mm -hmm. your mouth fills up with like heaps of saliva? Oh. Mm -hmm. That was inappropriate. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Should I make you another cocktail then? Yes. Okay. Five minutes. Five minutes. Drink, Drink break. We're back. Slug crush. Madison Beer. Obviously. Madison Beer. Yeah? <laughs> really? Probably, she really? looks like you, so... No, she doesn't. Or Ariana Grande. Yeah? They both look like you, so... No, they don't. I look like neither of them. Let's decide a female one and a male one, so we need a male celeb crush now, too. Of mine? Yeah? Um, Probably Eminem. Yeah, I, I would say yours is Eminem. Probably Eminem. Or Michael B. Jordan. <gasps> one of the two. Yes, so. Michael B. Jordan, I agree. Um, most embarrassing story, and I mean like most embarrassing. He, he love you, love you too, Tash. 
Okay, so I have three stories. My life is pretty mortifying. Um, if any of you know um, what school spec is, it's like a performance, a show that's aired on live TV where all the public schools come together, both primary school and high school, and they like, I don't know. Do a massive show. They do a massive show. Anyway, uh, we were in a break, I think in between shows, and I was in Gloria Jeans and Taylor, one of my best girlfriends, was with me. <laughs> and we saw, I, Vlado, his, his name was Vlado and he like, he competed in X Factor or something, or The Voice or something like that. Anyway, I kind of recognised him, but I didn't realise that's where he was from. Anyway, I, I had my iced coffee sitting right in front of me and this guy, Vlado, had lined up to order whatever he needed, whatever he wanted. And he had his guitar on him and he was like playing in the middle of the store, which I think back to and that was like really... That's pretty embarrassing, like that's really cringy. Like, I, we, we get it, you're a singer, you can sing. Um, but I saw him and I was like, oh my gosh, he's gorgeous. Sorry, man. Sorry. This was like two years ago, so like, don't stress. <laughs> I remember sitting there and thinking, oh my god, he's so gorgeous. And then I stood up or something and spilt my coffee all over me. And then I was just sitting in iced coffee and it had dripped all over me. He had looked over at me and saw everything that happened. I have no idea if he would remember this, but I remember that being so embarrassing. I just remember thinking, oh my gosh, she's so gorgeous. And then I went to pick up my drink or something and it just spilled all over me, fell all over the floor and the table and everything made a massive scene of myself. And I remember just running out of the store and then- A bit nervous. A bit nervous. There's like this water fountain feature at Homebush, like yeah, where- yeah, yeah. Kudos Bank Arena is. Comes out of the ground kind of, and stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's like recycled water, obviously. So I had to run over and like run my arms <laughs> through the recycled water to try and get the coffee smells out. But through the whole next show, I smelled like iced coffee. Lovely. So that's one of my stories. There's like another one. There's a whole other. There was like this time where I said, I love you. Accidentally. Accidentally. I'm sure the person is watching this video. And I didn't mean it. It was before I went to Europe and I had this thing with the guy and I was like, ha ha, love you. And I was like, hang on a second, I did not mean that at all. <laughs> Almost like in front of his parents and my dad too. I was like, I hugged him and then I was like, okay, love you. And then I was like... Oh. Would your dad remember? I don't think he heard. I think I kind of like whispered it. But then mm -hmm. I was just like, what the f*** is that? Anyway, what's an embarrassing story for you? It won't sound that bad. But I was telling you today yeah. about footy. Um, we were up by like six points in the grand final or something. And I had the hooter went off and they gave me the ball to kick it out. All I had to do is kick it out mm -hmm. and we win the game, like the grand final. And I kicked it and it did not go anywhere near the, like out. <laughs> and we had to defend for like 20 minutes or something so until hard. we got it back out and then won the game. But... But uh, still, you had that so moment and then yeah, just like let it slip straight uh, through your fingers. Uh, yeah, it was the most embarrassing thing. That'd be so good. It was like <laughs> a simple kick. I was probably like and that 10 be... metres from the trial line. All I had to do is <laughs> went nowhere near the... And that would have yeah, been in front of like all the parents and stuff. Yeah, know? everyone. And I was like, oh my gosh, we're going to lose and my team's going to hate me. Mm. Everyone in my team watching will remember that. But... <laughs> that sucks. Finn and all that, if you're watching, you, you sort of remember. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Uh, three kids in a house. Yeah, three kids in a house. <laughs> I'll be 30 by then. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully we can... I don't know if I want to have three kids within a span of... Is 10 years normal? Yes. You can do that, right? Yes. Easily. Yeah. We'll have three kids. My poor body. We'll get thought. I only kind of want to have, like... Two but three max, but Matt wants four kids. But I just we'll see how we go on maybe the second. Oh, there's definitely gonna be three. Definitely. I don't know if I can push that out. I reckon you can. How can you? Ugh. 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 Hats off to Girls all have the mothers. Triplets. All the mothers. In one go. I know, but you may as well get. The, I wouldn't mind having triplets. Yeah. Your body would get stretched hard, but just three all in one go. Just... The third one would just come right out. That's, that's what I mean. Just... When did you lose your virginity? I don't want to say. 
Neither do I. <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? No, I'm a man of God. It's not like we have or anything. We're in love though. No, but we haven't. Three. Two. Two. One. Well, that is all we have time for. <laughs> See you in the next one. Wait, ready? Three, two, one. <clears throat> no, this is my channel now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Get out. Okay, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Um, we're going to cap it at that because <laughs> we can't risk taking any more shots. But yes. thank you so much for putting in those questions. <laughs> Hit Mel on up for your haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Thank you if you... <laughs> Thank you for the question. That's all for tonight. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>